All right, guys, buckle up, because this is the wildest ride you'll take today. Floyd Money Mayweather, the undefeated champ, the legend, the man who's always flaunting his wealth and staying in the spotlight for one reason or another, has finally broken his silence. Yes, you heard that right. Floyd Mayweather's first words after being arrested for attacking his girlfriend have hit the airwaves. And man, it's every bit as crazy as you'd expect. From the luxurious lifestyle, the cars, the diamonds, and of course, the fights, both in and out of the ring, Floyd has lived his life on the edge. But this time, it wasn't about his next boxing match or a flashy new purchase. It was about the jaw-dropping scandal that has the whole world talking. For someone who's been in the limelight for decades, he's no stranger to controversy. But an arrest? For attacking his girlfriend? This is next-level drama. So what exactly went down? And how did Floyd react after the cuffs were slapped on him? Come on, chill. I get my ass whipped and I get all your money too. How about that? Come on, chill out, bro. Where you going with that? Where you going with that? Don't chill out, man. Let's get into it. Let's start with the basics. So, Floyd was arrested last night. Yeah, arrested after what the police are calling a domestic dispute turned violent. Now, we've all seen Floyd's temper in the ring, but apparently things got way too heated at home. His girlfriend, Galien Nabila, yes, the same Instagram model who has been by his side in all those TikToks and IG stories, was the victim in this whole thing. 15 questions for couples. Who likes to eat more? Who lies more? Who was the bigger hoe before you got together? Who's classier? Who holds more grudges? Who picks the restaurants for date night? Who would survive longer on Naked and Afraid? Who is more sensitive? When it comes to kids, who is or will be the disciplinary? Who is more book smart? Who is more street smart? Who is more likely to get pulled over for speeding? Who is more manipulative? Who is more superstitious? Who is more ride or die? The whole situation unfolded when neighbors heard screaming and shouting coming from Floyd's mansion, and they called the police. No one ever thought that Money Mayweather, the undefeated champ, would get tangled up in such a messy situation. But lo and behold, the cops showed up at his doorstep, and Floyd was taken in. The internet went nuts as soon as the news broke. I mean, can you blame people for losing it? This is the man who built his whole career on control, both in and out of the ring, and now it looks like he lost it completely. Now, let's address the elephant in the room. Floyd's history with women has never exactly been clean cut, but this, this might be the most serious thing he's ever been involved in. And with the spotlight shining brighter than ever on domestic violence issues, this is not a good look for the champ. All right, now for the part you've all been waiting for. What did Floyd have to say for himself? Well, as usual, he didn't stay quiet for long. After being released on bail, which, let's be real, wasn't exactly a dent in his billion-dollar empire, Floyd took to social media to drop his first official statement. And in true Floyd fashion, he didn't hold back. He tweeted this on X. The media will twist anything. Don't believe everything you hear. Was he denying the arrest? Was he saying he didn't do it? Everyone wanted answers, but as always, Floyd left people guessing. That's kind of his thing, right? Leave them wanting more. But here's where it gets real spicy. Hours later, Floyd went live on Instagram, yes, live, and broke his silence about the whole situation. And you know Floyd, never one to shy away from drama. He opened up the live saying, people think they know my life because of what they read, but y'all don't know the half of it. He went on to say that the situation was blown out of proportion and that people were just waiting for him to slip up so they could tear him down. He also threw some shade, of course. 
Y'all believe whatever the media feeds you. I've been dealing with this for years. This ain't nothing new, but know this. Don't trust what you see in the headlines. The truth will come out. It was typical Floyd. Cool, collected, and making sure to let everyone know that he's still in control of his narrative. But he didn't exactly deny what happened either. Which, let's be honest, makes the whole thing even more confusing. It's like, was this his way of admitting guilt without actually saying it? Or is he really just playing the media game, twisting the story before it gets out of hand? And what about Gallienne, the woman at the center of it all? Well, she's been surprisingly quiet. If you're expecting a tell-all IG post or a tear-filled TikTok, you're out of luck. Sources close to her say she's been devastated by the whole thing and she's considering pressing charges. But here's the kicker. She hasn't done it yet. Look, that's my personal opinion. Obviously, whatever floats your boat. Now I want to go in with Charlotte Tilbury Love Trap. Now, that's a whole story on its own. Why hasn't she pressed charges? Is there more going on behind the scenes that we don't know about? Or is this just another case of someone getting wrapped up in the whirlwind that is Floyd Mayweather's life? Either way, people are speculating left and right, with some saying she might just be in it for the money, while others are taking her silence as proof that something serious went down. Be careful out here. She looks like um, a kid loving your money champ. I mean, but what she don't, <laughs> um, lots of laugh, they all look alike. Here comes the juicy part. There's proof that Floyd's current girlfriend and Tank Davis have some kind of history. Gervonta Davis commented on her Instagram Live a year ago, and let's just say the comment was a little out of pocket. The plot thickened when Floyd's girlfriend dropped a TikTok hinting at a third person in their relationship. You fall out of love? Yeah. That's so, so much love for that person. But you care about Ray. But I love him, but I'm not in love with him anymore. Right? That's not your person. Turning the situation into a messy love triangle. This could just be the reason behind their fallout. If you're a longtime Floyd fan, you know this isn't the first time he's been in hot water over his relationships. Remember Josie Harris? Yeah, one of his exes who also accused him of domestic violence back in the day. And what happened next was wilder than ever. Did you know that she was found dead in her home? And the cause of death is still unknown to the public. If that doesn't freak you out, then I don't know what will. An investigation is underway after the mother of boxer Floyd Mayweather Jr.'s children was found dead. Josie Harris was discovered on Tuesday night inside a vehicle in a driveway at a home in Valencia, California. That is according to the Los Angeles County Sheriff's Department. The 40-year-old had three kids with Floyd Mayweather. Right now, foul play is not expected. And let's not forget about Chantel Jackson, who went public with her own accusations against Floyd, claiming he threatened her with a gun. The list goes on, and it paints a pretty clear picture of Floyd's history with the women in his life. I have been embarrassed and humiliated more than I could ever imagine by Floyd, who I once called my best friend and fiance. I have tried everything I could and I have given Floyd every opportunity to do the same, to do the right thing. Unfortunately, he has refused every opportunity to make things right. And it's, it is with a heavy heart that I finally realized that the only way to set the record straight and to achieve justice for what he has done to me is through the fouling of this lawsuit. So, what happens now? Well, if history has taught us anything, Floyd has a way of bouncing back no matter what. Whether it's beef with other fighters, lawsuits, or even jail time, nothing has kept him down for long. But this? This feels different. The internet is buzzing with people calling for him to be held accountable, with some even saying his legacy is officially tarnished. Floyd's fan base has always been divided. Some love him for his cocky attitude and unmatched boxing skills, while others can't stand the drama that seems to follow him everywhere. But now, even his most die-hard fans are having a hard time defending him. 
One thing's for sure, though. Floyd is a master at controlling his own story. Even now, as the details of his arrest continue to unfold, you can bet he's already planning his next move. Whether it's a public apology, a sit-down interview, or just laying low until the heat dies down, he's not one to back down without a fight. So that's all from today's video. If you enjoyed it, remember to leave a like, subscribe, and ring that bell icon so you never miss our upcoming videos. And don't forget to share your thoughts in the comments section. Stay tuned, and we will catch you in the next video.